Talent development is really important to Cisco for a number of reasons. One, I think that the, you know, the global workforce is changing dramatically, and in the IT space, networking is becoming one of those uh, areas that is starting to absorb a lot of the mainstream technologies for communications. So as we, you know, move into this new space of collaboration and new types of media, you know, um, essentially enabled by the network then um, we need new types of skills that are going to be um, you know, in embedded into the population so that our customers and our partners can actually you know, install and make this stuff work for them and continue to maintain it. Um, so it's a huge issue um, you know, in, a, in an industry like networking that so many things are changing. You know, we are, we're, this industry is moving so fast and there's so many new um, technologies that we've absorbed. If you look at um, things like security, voice, you know, wireless, and then all the new UC, Unified Communications portfolio, which you know, includes our collaboration suite, that alone, that alone is uh, enough to keep the workforce very busy in trying to keep skilled. And then you know, we have this other issue, which is the, the talent gap, you know, just trying to bring new people into the industry because we are still a high growth um, area and networking overall is something that's becoming so strategic to the business that if they don't have the top people in these companies to do this, they essentially aren't set up for success. So what we're doing to accelerate development is a number of things. One, we've completely revamped our portfolio. Now if you look at our education and certification portfolio, it a accurately represents the new type of talent that we need. So, so the blended environments between routing and switching and voice and security and wireless. <clears throat> this new um, idea of um, you know, ensuring that uh, a network can deliver a set of services right to the end customer so that's that's a key part of our education and certification and i think the other the other piece of it is that you know we've had to accelerate particularly in north america we've had to accelerate the experts at a very rapid pace because uh networking is one of those areas it's still a very sophisticated technology in the old days you know 10 years ago it took us 10 years to develop an expert now we can't afford 10 years for an expert we need an expert in a few years, a couple of years. So we've invested in a lot of new programs such as the new um, 360 program which helps us um, develop experts by essentially working from a framework of who they are as individuals and then helping them to identify their areas of skills gap and then taking them towards that next level of development and really guiding that effort and guiding them as individuals. And we think that treating people through development as individuals and their unique needs to the category they're trying to manage themselves into in terms of a role that they play in their company, that's going to be a critical component for our development strategy over time. So expert level talent, and what we mean by that is a CCIE level talent, for example, um, that is absolutely required for any company that is um, investing heavily in communications technology and networking technology and collaboration technology. And the reason for that is if you don't have an expert um, av available on staff, whether that's your partner, a Cisco partner, or your Cisco customer, um, you end up in a situation where if you design something a certain way and something goes wrong, you don't know why. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that a, an expert can do to isolate problems, troubleshoot, understand why a network isn't performing the way it needs to perform because of an application issue or something about a configuration. Those are the type of things a, an expert can easily determine just by looking at some, some basic things. So we definitely recommend that you know, every company make sure that they maintain and develop their experts and really treat them like, you know, um, like the, the precious talent that they are. So if you're trying to become an expert through one of our programs that lead to a CCIE or a CCDE, uh, the best thing you can do is come on to our Cisco Learning Network, look at the new set of programs that we have available because there's a whole new suite um, of assessment-led development that we have never had before, um, and then uh, choose from the variety of options that are available on that, whether or not you want a self-paced program or you want to go to a class in addition to a self-paced program. And of course, we also have books and other things that you can um, read to help you prepare for that. In fact, 
part of the assessment process tells you what to do, what to go study, what to go look at, what classes to take, what books to read, um, and there's a reference, you know, reading library that goes along with all of this. Um, so we try to do this, the reason we call, we call it 360 is we um, are trying to give somebody a holistic point of view of, you know, where they are, where they need to be, and all the elements to get them there. So there is something called the Expert Level Talent Development Program, and there are, two, there are a couple of different components of it. Certainly the new CCIE training, the 360 training that I mentioned before. Um, so that's a brand new asset that is available through Cisco and Cisco Partners, Authorized Partners. Um, that <clears throat> is this idea of assessment-led training, right, where you come in, you um, evaluate yourself on the tool, you go through some, some exercises to do that, it gives you some very rich feedback on um, where, what you need to develop and what that looks like and the types of things that you need to go do. And then it gives you a set of practice exercises built in labs uh, that you can go off and actually use to help you develop you know, to that level of proficiency that you need in the areas that you're weak. Um, the other um, thing that it does do is it, it, it gives you a, a very good um, overview of, you know, what, not only what you need to learn, but how, you, how is best to go learn that, right? So it really gives you an understanding before you go take your CCIE exam, which would be the next step in the equation, um, uh, of where you are versus where you should be and how to get there. So it gives you that really defined, personalized path. And then I think the other, the other piece of it is um, um, getting to know, you know, based on where you're located or whatever, what Cisco learning partner you want to work with. Because I think it's very important to have a mentor as part of this process. So we have the online tools, we have a leader-led, you know, um, uh, uh, two-week course boot camp, if you will, that goes along with this that is offered by a partner. But I think the mentoring component can really help somebody get, you know, from where they are today to literally passing that CCA lab exam, which we all know is probably the most difficult exam in the industry. Uh, to try to get through. And, um, you know, of course, once they get through this program, then they can go certify. And we'd recommend that people do that before they go. Why, why go take a test, spend the money on the test if you don't know you're, you're ready for that yet? It can be very frustrating. So we, we strongly encourage people to go through the development program first. The other component, of course, is our new CCDE, uh, which is Design Expert. So there's two different parts of CCIE. One, which is the sort of broad, um, specialist, broad expertise, and then the, the CCDE really covers the design aspect of networks, understanding how to design in highly scalable, um, you know, global networks that will work for large corporations. And, um, and so those are the two, you know, major components that we have. And for those, you know, in, uh, in uh, overseas markets, we have something called CCIE mobile testing. So if you're not next to a testing center, a physical testing center that Cisco has for CCIE, you can um, ask your local sales uh, team where a mobile site might be coming in next because we go in and do specific test events uh, in uh, some of the emerging countries.